Welcome to episode number 5 of the Group Iron Man series, my name is Alonescape and I just woke up, got my coffee, completed a Dragon Slayer 1 for that defense and strength experience and the access to of course a rune plate body as well as the green dehyde body and hopefully this defense experience will get me to 40, so let's see if that was the case. 43 strength and 40 defense, that is perfect and I don't have any money to buy the green dehyde body but maybe when someone logs in in my team, I don't think anyone is on. Nope, I will be able to get the money. Maybe not the best idea to try to do Monkey Madness without Protect from Melee running through this whole dungeon, but I think I might have done it. I only have three Karan Bonds left though, but I seem to be at the end. If I can get the last hit here, that is now Monkey Madness 1 completed as well, and this is going to give me 35,000 defense experience, and that is mainly why I did this. Not even to get the Dragon Scimitar, but of course that is a nice bonus. And there we go, that is the Monkey Madness completion, and I'm up at 75 quest points, I guess I should eat a uh, Karambon and pick up these uh, diamonds as well, might need them in the future, but uh, let's go up here and go to Dero or whatever he's called, yeah Dero, talk to him and let's pick what experience we're gonna get. I don't remember exactly, but I think you can get attack and defense and then also you get strength and uh, hit points, but not as much. But I do want the, so let's see, focus on improving attack and defense, that is the one I want. 35k, 20k, 35k, 20k. And my defense is now from 40 all the way to 46, and also of course I got a hit point level, 49 attack, only one more level to 50, so that is nice. Another good quest for defense experience that is pretty fast is Olaf's quest for 12,000 defense experience and also 20k coins, which is actually not that bad. And that is now 48 defense and 4.6k of 49. So I'm working off Remedy guys now, but I am the only one online and I need help from 56 woodcutting for the splint log and I'm only 51, so I have Max Nick who's going to help me with that and also of course Dovidas for 46 crafting for the yak armor and they are not online, so I'm just going to kill some blue dragons for magic experience and dragon bones that I need for 45 prayer to unlock the eagle eye and mystic might for Solra. If you've been playing group Iron Man, you probably know by now that the group storage has been down for a couple of days. There is a system update here and they said that it would be fixed very soon, so maybe this is it. I uh, guess we're going to see after this update is in if the group storage works again. So let's see if it works, the group storage, and it is loading and it's working. But we have basically nothing here, all it's going to do is just make it easier to send items to each other I guess, so that is very nice. But um, I actually realized I have to get 46 crafting and 56 woodcutting myself for the Fremenic Isles, because you actually need partial completion of the Fremenic Isles, aka also Fremenic Trials, to be able to do the things for the quest. I thought I could just send over the cured yak hides to Dovidas, and he would be able to craft them, but that is not the case. You actually need to be on that part of the quest to be able to do it, so I would have to grind that out as well. There is no way, dude. <laughs> With my stats, I actually managed to complete a hard clue scroll that I had in the bank since like the beginning of the account. Most of the steps, I think four of the steps was just kill a Saradomin wizard in an area I could reach, and one was just go to the uh, Varrock lumber yard, so all of them very easy steps. There is so many good things I can get from this, hopefully I don't get the worst reward ever, but uh, any black dehyde is really nice, of course I can get a trimmed glory, I could also get an MSB which would be I think better than a Dorgishon crossbow, not 100% sure on that, but uh, yeah, let's see what we get from the first casket from our entire group on the group Iron Man game mode. Oh, two MSBs, no way, and rune helm. G oh my god, this is insane! So many collection log- oh, oh dude, I'm so happy about this reward. After that MSB, I had to go to uh, the last man standing and get some rune arrows, and uh, yeah, I'm terrible at this minigame, but it is what it is, I got some rune arrows, that's all that matters. Now we're getting myself 46 crafting, I did this through uncuts and also molten glass, which is the classic one, but that is now yak hide armor, and the only thing I have to do now to complete Fremnic Isles is get 56 wood cutting, which actually I have to do... Oh, blessed axe, actually. Does that work as a mithril one? I guess it does, then I can actually use that instead of a steel one. Never mind, it doesn't count as an axe, it is blessed, so I have to use a steel axe all the way to 56. Dude, what am I doing? I forgot I have access to fairy rings. I can just get a Draymond staff, get my Arctic cloak out, go to the enchanted realm and get one through killing tree spirits. I was watching Dark World Order stream, check him out. 
And he just told me, I forgot about it completely. I don't want to spend too much time here, but I did get an adamant axe and that should be good enough. So I'm going to go and get 56 wood cutting with an addy axe. Uh, Bananas. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna do Bananas. And don't, um, don't say any worlds or anything because I'm live streaming. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Don't Dude, so I ridiculous. look like an absolute chad. What do you mean? <laughs> so are you using MSB? Yeah, I'm using MSB with rune arrows. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I'm on Wait my for way. Me. Now. I, got, I got a boss uh, to follow. Wait. Uh, by the way, you have to come from a specific side because if you come from the other one, it's going to get like unlord. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you kind have of... to come from multi. You have to come from multi side. Uh, or, or from, from um, was it, uh, west side. So don't be at the exact like spider place, but. There's entrance. There, if you see, like, there's a dungeon very close to Venonatus. Oh, the yeah. Slayer dungeon. Just go for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Maybe I can do from here? Almost. Uh, you could try, I guess. I mean, I can just do it like this. See? Bam. Let's see. Yeah, it's fine for me. I think. Okay. okay. Where, what am I doing? Uh, just, just come. Just creep into yeah. your spot. Yeah, if, if you could mark these tiles. You see, this line is safe, but Hold don't up. cross um, this line. What's, what, what line? The spite, the web? <laughs> Where? Yeah, kind of where I'm walking. Like this whole line is safe, basically for melee. Okay. This small. Whole... Oh, well. he got he died. Oh, there's he PKs. Died, no, dude, oh, there's no, PKs. No, no, we, got it. we got the kill for PKs. Dude, it's it's, we got 19k, okay, dude. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh no. cash. See you later, blue. No, dude. You're the one dying. <laughs> hot world, hot world, hot world, hot world. Oh, no. please, dude. I don't even have prayer. <laughs> dude, they're gonna. <laughs> they stole my carambuans. This was hard, hard earned Karam bonds. <laughs> no. Back then. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, and then you, it's like White Cat Two has gotten Callisto Cub. Oh yeah, exactly, dude. I it would yeah, be so coming. funny if we got a pet. It would be even better because he always gets stuff when he goes. Be right back. Yeah, and then he comes back. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. oh. No, this is accurate. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, this is yeah, this is accurate. Oh, 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 that's oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should right, we just face tank? Face tank it, dude. Face no, tank. Uh, that, might not, that might not go well. I don't think <laughs> that's good. Face well. tank, dude. Rune like Oh, oh it. we did I got it. it. No, what is that Yo, drop, man? Uh, that's oh, the worst drop. I knew, I knew we would get like that. What is that drop, man? <laughs> it is nice though. After that quick detour, I got my 56 woodcutting as well as the decapitated troll king head. All I have to do now is go back and finish the Fremenic Isles quest. Before we go and hand in the quest, I'm actually going to buy an archer's helm as well because it has a decent ranged bonus and I'm going to need that for when I'm going to get 70 ranged. We're going to pick defense for this because I want to get 70 defense as well for Barrow's gear and attack strength, hit points I don't really care that much about. So 10k defense and another 10,000 defense. And there is also the Nate is not helmet. I actually didn't know you got one for free. I thought I would have to pay 50k for the first one but uh, that is 50k saved and I don't say no to that. And let's equip the helmet after the pop-up screen. There we go. That's 10k woodcutting, 5k crafting, 5k construction. No way, that's going to be so many levels, I think. I was 21 before, and 50 defense, and 27. So yeah, 6 construction levels. Let's equip the help. I can't equip it. I need 55 defense, I forgot. I do want to get into Barrows as soon as possible, and I can actually do that if I only get 200k and upgrade my Iban staff. And I had 84k, but I also had 1000 soul runes, so I thought if I go here, I might be able to sell them for- oh, it's only 120. So it's not that much. Maybe there's another way to sell them to get more money, but uh, I'm sure there... Maybe I can sell blood runes. I think I have a decent amount of blood runes. I could actually alex some of the items I had in my bank that I didn't need, but uh, blood runes are still not very good. 160, if I sell like 10 of them, they are going to drop down to 120. So I will have to find some other way to get the last like 75k. Dovidas actually put in 75k that he promised I could actually take, so I'm going to do that. And we do have the money now if I go here, take out everything. We have over 200k and also the Iban staff. I'm going to go and upgrade it or enchant it, whatever. And then also I have to use my 51 dragon bones that I got from blue dragons to get 43 prayer. Should be enough. 
There we go, that's the upgraded Staff of Iban for 200k, and it is now 2500 casts I think you can charge or use basically instead of 120, which is pretty bad. Here we go, 43 prayer, and I actually have some bones left, I have one bone in the bank as well, so I guess like 20 bones left. I might as well use all of these, but probably won't get 44. Never mind, I actually did get 44, but just barely. After getting ready for Barrows I went to bed and now I'm awake and this is my setup for Barrows and my inventory looks like this. I'm actually only bringing one prayer potion and I'm maybe going to get some entangles or snare because I want to root them maybe so I don't have to use prayer on them sometimes but uh, let's see actually how good this is. If you're sitting there wondering why am I using a ranged gear with magic setup, it's because all of the Barrows brothers except like Arims have very 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 bad magic defense, they have even negative, so it doesn't really matter what armor you have, as you can see you still hit very very consistently, so I can just uh, get more inventory spaces having full range gear equipped with only my magic staff and it should be fine. I'm always going to get plus 86 on the potential because that gives the best chance for runes or the most amount of runes and I used only actually 42 death runes on a run and you can get more than that from one chest so hopefully I will be able to sustain. Let's see the first loot and we get ball drags and we get uh, some chaos runes so no death runes but I can use the, uh, chaos runes here as well I guess but not as good. There's actually a method you can do to save prayer pots completely on barrels. I can use them in the future for soul rain instead and Dark World Order showed me how to do it. You basically just can mark these tiles. It's a bit different for all the Barrows brothers, but uh, this is basically how you do it. I'm going to stand on this tile right here, and I'm going to attack him. I'm going to turn on my run with control, run to this square right here, and then after that go to this square. So the boss will basically never hit you. So if I do this and press control run, run to that one, and then run to this, and it is now stuck on this one. So you just do the same thing now, wait a bit, and I'm going to hit and run to this one and run over to that one and it is stuck there again so you can do this without getting hit without using prayer i guess because i don't take any damage now all the talk about the gear i was using is kind of redundant i might as well just go with like no gear just my staff weapon and graceful so uh i guess disregard everything i said before but i guess in the main game where you have prayer potions it is still relevant let's see what we get for the second barrel's chest Oh, 152 death runes. That is so nice. Already made like 60 death runes profit. So this tomb is a bit different, but this is actually even easier. You actually just have to move one square like this. You don't have to run two squares. So now when it is over there, I can literally just hit it again and run right here. And it's going to get stuck on the other side. Third chest. Can we get an item? We cannot. Oh, that is a hefty rune drop. I don't say no to that. While I can't say I'm going to be able to complete this elite clue scroll, I guess I can check what the first step is. Northeast corner in Shiloh village. I already can't complete that because I haven't done the quest. Oh my god! I got an item! Gotham's helm! That's actually not bad at all. That's actually a really good item as well. On seven chests. Very nice. How Solra works is that you only take ranged damage because there is a phase where it shoots out random ranged hits and you just pray mage in that and all the other phases you basically can just easily pray the damage it does. But uh, that means you only need ranged defense for that boss and that's why I wanted to get the crystal shield because it has so high ranged defense. But look at this as well. The rune helmet has 30 ranged defense. The Gutham's one has 62. So using this on Solra is actually insane, because it only has minus 2 ranged as well, which is very minor compared to, for example, the Runeholm that has minus 3. This is going to be chest number 10, and it will be the last one for this video, but I will definitely come back here in the future to try to get more pieces, but let's see what we get for the last loot. Oh my god, there is no way! No way we get Carol's leather skirt! Oh, dude, wait! I can easily get a black dehyde body from deranged archaeologist, and then I have this for the other item. Oh my god, I am lucky. Okay, I don't know if uh, Dark World Order is here. Mm, yeah, could be maybe AFK, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so I did 10 barrels and I got something. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, wait. What? 
was it uh, an item that we could use? It is. Okay, okay. I'm gonna share my screen. You ready? Uh, yes. If if I can see it. Wait. Oh, watch. Let's see. Oh my God. I got Gotham's helm and Karen's leather skirt in 10 KC. What? It, obviously, that was not a double. Ch oh, yeah, I can see it's, it was not a double. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's so perfect because this has a really high range defense, which I need for Soldra. And uh, Karen's leather skirt and then I'll get black dehyde body from deranged archaeologist. Also, to be honest, the helmet as well is just like a good tank helm to yeah. have in general. It's so nice. From 10kc. <laughs> yeah, you got it real lucky. Nice job. Now everything that's left is combo training, so that is what I'm going to strictly do. I don't need any more quests, I don't need to do anything except to just train up my combat stats. And those are of course 70 magic, 70 ranged and 70 defense. Should not be all too much of a grind, I mean it's going to take a while on Ammonite Crabs, but uh, shouldn't be a terrible grind. And when it's done, I am ready for Solra. Also, I might be able- why did I not reset? But I also might be able to get an Arum's piece because there is other people in my group also doing barrels and if they manage to get one I will get it right away for my solar grind which could be nice. But that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for future uploads. And also there is a playlist I mentioned in my last video I think with everyone's videos in it. So if you want to watch for example Dovida's first episode and then after that mine, then Dark World Order, then Max Nick and then it jumps to episode 2. There is a playlist that will be pinned in the comments at the top of basically every video from now on in the series. So check that out if you want to do that, but uh, otherwise have a good one, take care.